So with COVID and everything, I've been doing a lot of uh, yard work and I wanted to show off a couple things right here. First of all, this is the area of the yard that doesn't get any water. The plants in the pots, these are some seeds um, that I kind of got mixed up. So I don't know if some are flowers or some are melons, but we're gonna find out. And I don't know enough to identify the seed, I suppose I could Google that. Anyway, um, this is an area of the yard that I cut off from sprinklers last year. My goal is to reduce water usage through sprinklers um, about this much a year. This is the side of my house right here. I do want to show you, there is a tree. There's a couple trees, but um, this is a, a new one. This was for sale. It's a pomegranate. And uh, Stephanie Berugian, uh I saw on Instagram, was uh, reading some William Soroyan. And he's a very famous author and playwright here in Fresno that I've never read William Soroyan. So I asked her, uh, what should I read? And she suggested a book of short stories called uh, My Name is Aram. And um, in that book, Aram's uncle uh, is... Uh, wants to make a beautiful garden. Um, uh, sounds like outside of Fresno, he gets some land um, kind of on the way to the foothills, but it's covered with, with cactus and dry brush and he plants pomegranates, but it's really difficult because he's still a novice and he doesn't really know um, how much work is involved and uh, how much chance is involved. So I thought it was really fitting for my first fruit tree to be a pomegranate as I try and learn all the complicated things about growing food. The hardest thing about having a garden and showing it off here in Fresno is like Fresno is the place where there are, it's like you're surrounded by Olympians of growing things. There's master gardeners, there's um, the most premium fruit and uh, vegetables that you get in the whole world <laughs> so it's really hard to to show off a, a backyard especially one that uh, um, I only started watering this three and a half weeks ago and it waters on a two-day schedule um, even though three days a week are allowed I'm just really trying to see what is the minimum amount of water one can use to uh, uh, grow grass this is uh, mainly a Bermuda grass and I keep it cut short um, but I'm now in the process of deciding how I'm going to test different areas with some longer length with um, using a little more water because it was just dusty and yellow and there would be you know some blades of grass that would grow and a lot of weeds and uh, they would of course grow pretty tall so you run the mower over it. The problem is when you haven't watered in so long it creates a dust cloud and it floats over your house and it floats over your neighbor's house and you breathe it in and uh, just the dust is is completely unmanageable. This is what it what it looked like basically. I don't know why that is so close to a sprinkler head <laughs> and so yellow at the same time. But anyway, um, to, to give you a look, there, there's some really beautiful areas, um, some of which gets more shade, like over here. Uh, this grass is coming in nicely. There's a little bit of thatch here, which I learned about reading some books about uh, grass growing. and. Um, you can see there's a pile of dirt I've been working on with these trees. The cool thing about this house, this is in central Fresno, um, just south of Shaw, is the previous owner managed to put the shrubbery in that has grown so tall. It's like you feel like the only person around when you're in this yard. So I kind of wanted to continue that effect along uh, the walls here, the walls, the fence here. Uh, there's some beans down here at the bottom. There's a lot of stray grass growing and uh, these uh, leaves turn red and I'm hopeful that will grow into a nice uh, um, kind of privacy wall like this does too so that's where i'm at right now i 
I uh, am working on just throttling down the uh, uh, sprinkler timers on my twice a week schedule, but, um, and maybe figuring out where I will not have grass anymore. I thought that would be easier than it is, but that dust is, it's insane. So that's a quick tour of my yard and I'll be doing more of these because it's COVID and it's kind of lonely. See you later.